It is so good to see the sun. We really haven't had much electricity over the past three days. It has been a monsoon up here. Come on, good girl. Come on, honey. Everything that we do is based off solar and wind power. And right now, there is no wind, so we're based off solar power. When it's raining, you get about one-tenth of the charge. And all of our electricity was out all day yesterday. Hey, George. Good boy. Good morning, you guys. So we're starting the day a bit earlier than usual. Since the rainy season has come a lot earlier than we expected. We're really gonna try to start our days at like 7 a.m. <laughs> the only thing is the hardware does the hardware store doesn't open until 7. So George went down this morning to get a couple supplies. And then right when he gets back, it's go time. <laughs> of joining going to the hardware store in the morning is the the lady that owns the place really really likes them and every time you go hi selena <laughs> she gives them a handful of chocolates and today usually it's harsh kisses but today she put milky ways in there and that is my favorite <laughs> childhood chocolate all right honey put your seatbelt on all right all right you gotta protect the bait so we got a pretty good system set up right now we have all the gravel and sand up at the driveway and obviously we need to truck it down to Rodrigo's place where we can mix it all. But Heidi, the Hilux, has been crushing it. Today is really exciting because the footers are going in the ground. We have all these holes dug. Oh, just checking out the hole, just make sure we built the new house right. But now what we need to start doing is getting all these string lines all put into the perfect place because we've ripped them all out to dig the holes, so we gotta get them just right. Daddy! Left. What are you doing, honey? Or left. So now we're basically just making sure all of the string lines are perfectly level. That is the first step to making sure the footers are correctly done. Okay. Oh, okay, good. Okay. You're, you're, you're eating my baby right now. No! That's how big the baby is? That's how big the baby is the size of a pear right no, now. No, it's smaller. <laughs> We're getting the outside, the four corners of the string all set. And we need to get it nice and square. We don't want it like this. Excuse me, that's we, a rectangle. We don't want it like this. All right, nice and rectangle. But I mean, I mean square like <laughs> I mean, nine, 90. I'm just kidding. I'm just so I'm using the only thing I learned in elementary school and that is Pythagorean's theorem to make sure this is square. So we're slightly, slightly. Great. Great. I'm not gonna be able to see the gap. So now we're putting the first piece down into the footer holes. So this is gonna be basically the base of the footer. Here we go now. He's gonna be eating the snakes in the holes. Look at all these freaking man. There. So we want that one to go there. Uh -huh. Hold it there, just a doubt. This thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh huh. Okay, he's saying that we better be. I 
I think we're, we've decided we were going to mix a lot of this by hand, but I think we decided we're going to have to get a cement mixer because this is going to take a year if we mix all this by hand. Slowly, man. I don't think you guys know this, but Kake was actually a Boy Scout. And anytime you need a knot tied, you call Kake because he's got he knows all of them. I don't know if he learned it from the Boy Scouts or YouTube, bro. But either way, you want you to. You're captain. You're captain tying knots, man. <laughs> but this is the best that we can do. We rope this down, and then this is our backup. This is the tow strap. And we're just gonna go for it, Kake. Let's go. I mean, we know the Hilux is capable, but it's just if we're capable or not. So far, so good. Well, the first five meters are going well. <laughs> We did it. We got it where it needs to be. We can do the rest of this by hand. I don't want to mess anything up. We don't have like a real hitch on it, so it's not really moving the way that I want it to, but. If we lose control, just drop it. Yeah. Yeah, this is the panic button. <laughs> you just drop it. Aye, aye, aye. I got it, bro, I got it. I Let's it make it some drama. Are you good, bro? <laughs> No, Hello. you're done. Hello. Oh, we're good. We're good. It's done. Okay, go. The boys are putting in a load of cement using the, the cement mixer for the first time. So exciting. Actually just got off a Zoom call with a doula, um, which for those of you guys who don't know, it's basically a person that works with you through your pregnancy and most importantly through your birth um, and is very emotionally there for you mentally, physically, spiritually. And a lot of times you get them um, when you're doing a home birth, which is something that I have dreamt about doing for years. And if all goes well and smooth with this pregnancy and continues to do so, that is what Jordan and I want to do. This is number one. Now we have 11, 11 more to go. <laughs> That's it? It looks like that's it. Especially because my fly's down. <laughs> how did that happen? It's a red. Look how red your nipples are. Bro, I, I got a rash. You got oh. stuck? Yeah. Oh. It hurts. It's 
so yeah, close. Yeah, dude, we gotta get that shiz off. Two footers done, you guys. Ten more to go. We gotta shower now. Oh. Woo! It's warm. Excited for me, hey. Come on in. <laughs> How do you see, buddy? Oh, pretty good. Other than that lightning and thunder last night. Dude, I woke up and I was like, man, I must be ready to get up now. And I asked you what time it was. It was midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It was downpouring last night. We got an inch and a half. We've already gotten an inch and a half of rain so far today. That all came at night. Check this out. In a week. 17 inches in the month 23 inches and in the year 36 inches by the way that's the dry season Yeah. I'm very interested to see what our little tarp house looks like. I'm worried that some water piled up on it. And uh, we'll see. It's not looking good already. I can tell it fell down. No. <laughs> Let's see the damage, bro. Oh, it's not that bad. It's broken there in the middle. Bummer. And Man, it was a nice house for a little while. Yeah. Yeah, it was all. So, what happened is rain piled up there. In the center, we needed a couple sticks poking it up. I'm ready, bro. Let's get this. Let's get this thing level, huh? We're gonna try to get at least two more footers done today. We just don't know what the weather's gonna be, so we're gonna take this tarp down for now. And if we see it's gonna start raining, we'll throw it up. But they're calling this this year. La Nina with all this rain. This is very irregular to have 36 inches by now, but we just got to deal with what it's given to us. It says 160. But that's to that, that's inside to inside. Yeah. So let's add, so you want to add 20 centimeters to it. You see how it says 0.1 and 0.1? Yeah. And that'll give us that, that outside to there. So that's, we want 1.8. It's been one day of mixing concrete and we've already learned so much. We've learned that even though this is a two bag cement mixer, putting two bags of cement in there really creates more of a hassle than it's worth. And we learned that it's better to mix the cement with the water before adding in the sand and the gravel or else the sand basically just turns into a pancake in the bottom of the cement mixer and it's really hard to get it all to mix. And we've also learned how to split a bag of cement in half using a piece of rebar. So. You only have to lift 45 pounds at a time into the cement mixer than doing a whole 90 pound bag. And that's what a lot of this is about, is just learning. Uh, where our house is gonna be coming soon. It's gonna be coming in a few months and, and now we've learned how to pour pillars and pour a foundation the right way. This is definitely a lot of work, but living in a place that's an earthquake zone, building a house on a, on a slant, all the elements, the water, the rain, amount of rain that we get, 
we're building this thing really strong. And I'm really excited to know this house is gonna last and we really don't have anything to worry about with the foundation. I gotta say, ever since being pregnant, when I found out like almost four months ago, I feel like I've really been slacking on moving my body and getting back to my exercise. And I gotta say, it feels so, so good to start moving my body again and doing things that I wasn't really doing before, like just shoveling gravel and sand. And another thing too, which you don't have to add this in, George, but I'm just gonna keep rambling like I usually do, all right? I think there's something to staying active during pregnancy. And a lot of people have told me, keep doing everything that you used to be doing. Obviously don't go crazy where you're gonna strain muscle and all that stuff, but keep staying active. And that's it, baby. We are done. I'm exhausted, but we have four footers. Come check them out. Rodrigo's just finishing up this one. He's just getting it nice and level. This one's all done over here. This is our new slip and slide. No one's fallen on it yet, but you guys know what's gonna happen. This one's done right here, and then this one over here. And it feels good. It has been a productive last few days for sure. For four footers, we only have eight more left. Something that I have seen here in Panama in my whole life is that these cement mixers are always covered in concrete all the way around they are they have like a layer this thick of concrete and it's because they never clean them they just use them stop them and leave them leave them just like that and this one is too beautiful to let that happen so I'm gonna be cleaning this thing every time that we use it <laughs> What last things do you have to say to the vlog, honey, before we sign this thing off? I'm only wearing underwear. I can't really show myself. That's a good way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausted, you guys. I'm going to bed. Just to let you know, if you guys want more videos, we do. We post behind the scenes up on Patreon, so we'll link to that in the top of the description. My shirt is inside out, and uh, that's where I'm going to leave you. See you guys next time.